Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of multiplication and division. This is standard 3.6e in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 36 off the 2019 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, or work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So this seems like a fairly simple problem. It's a division problem. But unfortunately, we have two fractions that we're supposed to divide. And I'm pretty sure our sixth grade teacher taught us something to do with that second value in a division problem, but I can't remember which. So let's back up a little bit. And let's make sure we really understand reciprocals. Because if you understand what a reciprocal is, then this is a very, very simple problem. So a reciprocal uh, is when you have two numbers. So let's say 3. So its reciprocal would be 1 third. So a number and its reciprocal multiply by each other always equal 1. Now how do I know that 3 and 1 third always equal 1? Well, any whole number can be turned into an improper fraction simply by placing a 1 as a denominator. So look what happens when you multiply straight across. 3 times 1 and 1 times 3, well, that makes 3 thirds. So that's really what this 1 is, is this 3 thirds. So I know that 3 and 1 thirds are reciprocal. But if you take a look, 3 over 1 gets flipped upside down to 1 over 3. And so those two are reciprocal. So let's try 1 tenth. So if I wanted to find the reciprocal of 1 tenth, I would flip it upside down, and I would get 10. Or we can call it 10 once or 10 over 1, because that's going to equal 1, or really that's going to equal 10 tenths, which reduces to 1, simplifies to 1. So you can find any number, and you can flip it upside down, and that's going to be its reciprocal. Now, that helps us when we multiply and divide. So let's take a very simple division problem. 6 divided by 2. Now that's easy. That's a basic fact. That's 3. But did you know that dividing by a number is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal? So the reciprocal of 2 is 1 half, because this is like 2 over 1, right? So what happens when we multiply by its reciprocal? Well, 6 times 1 is 6. 1 times 2 is 2. And guess what that reduces to? or simplifies down to 3. So when you divide by a number, you can multiply by its reciprocal. And so that is going to be extremely helpful. Let's look at one more example of that. So let's say 10 divided by 5. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. So instead of dividing by 5, we can multiply by the reciprocal. So that's going to be 1 fifth. So you take your 5 over 1 and you just flip it upside down. So 10 over 1 times 1 over 5, that's going to be 10 over 5, which simplifies down to 2. Now, how does any of that help us with this problem over here? Well, it helps us because look what I did right here. I took my division divided by 5 and I found the reciprocal and changed it from a division to multiplication. Same right here. I divided by 2 I found the exact same answer by multiplying by its reciprocal, multiply by 1 half. So you can take any divisor, so these are our divisors right here, and you can get the same answer when you multiply by its reciprocal. Well, let's look at this. What is 2 thirds? That's not like one we've seen, but what have we done for every other reciprocal? We simply flipped it upside down, didn't we? So 2 thirds and 3 halves. Those are reciprocals, because guess what? You're going to get 6 over 6, which is going to equal 1. So instead of dividing by 2 thirds, I can multiply by 3 halves. So I can do 4 fifteenths. Instead of dividing by 2 thirds, I can multiply by the reciprocal, which is flipped upside down, 3 halves. And fraction multiplication is easy. It's 12 thirtieths. Now we have to simplify a little bit. So what is the largest number that goes into 12 and 30? Well, each of those can be divided by 6. So let's simplify by 6 over 6. That's going to be 2 fifths, and my answer is J.